Hello and welcome. Do you want to know what signed and unsigned numbers are? Do you want to be able to answer two complement questions? If so, you're in the right video. Now, sign and magnitude when an integer is indicated being positive or negative is described as being signed. You're looking at the most significant bit. You're looking at 128, the place value 128. Now, if it's set to one, it is negative. If it's zero, it is positive. So zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero represents denary positive 28. And one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero represents negative 28. You can see the difference there. Most significant bits. A way of representing negative numbers in binary is two's complement. The most common method used to represent signed integers in modern computers is two's complement. So representing negative numbers in binary. And that's what two's complement is all about. It's a really simple way to do this. All you do to find the two's complement of a binary number, really simple. We flip the bits. So we change one to zeros and zeros to one. And we add one to the result. So we flip the bits, we add one. Let's have a look at an example. So here's my number. Find the two's complement of denary 28. So I start off with the blue row there, the dark blue row. I represent 28 as a binary number. 16 plus eight plus four is 28. Then I flip the bits, the second row. Ones become zeros and zeros become one. Then I add one to the flip result. So if we look at the rightmost columns there, one and two, it was one, one. If I add one to that, that then becomes four. So we have four, two and one, and now zero and zero. So therefore, the two's complement of binary zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero is one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, zero which is the equivalent to denary negative 28. How do I convert two's complement numbers back into denary? I can just simply do a reverse calculation. So I can represent negative 28 as a binary number. The positive equivalent of a negative integer in two's complement format can be found by flipping the bits and adding one. So again, remembering, flip the bits, add one. So number negative 28. One 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 zero zero one zero zero. Flip the bits in the second row. Add one to the flip result. And if we look at that, we've got sixteen plus eight plus four. That is positive twenty eight. Questionnaire asks for a number of smartphones a student can access. One student enters negative thirty eight negative in error. Convert negative thirty eight. To two's complement, use 8-bit binary show you're working. Now, to answer this question, the first thing I need to do is create my table here of 8 bits with the place values here. Then I need to create, I need to make 38 as a binary number. So here's 38 as a binary number. Remember, 32 plus 4 is 36 plus 2 is 38. So that is 38 as a binary number. So the first thing I need to do then is Flip the bits. Ones become zeros, zeros become ones. So the first part of doing a two's complement question like this is I need to flip the bits. So now I have flipped the bits. So look, the zeros become ones and the ones become zeros all the way through there. The next step is to add one. So look, if I add one to this, what happens then is this this value here at number one, that becomes zero and one is placed in value two there. So that is now adding one. Flip the bits, add one. And there is my answer. One, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero is my answer there for three marks. So remember, with a two's complement question, what I need to do is flip the bits and add one. Just remember the two things there. Flip the bits, add one. Flip the bits, add one. Remember that in your exam. When you get a two's complement question like this, remembering to flip the bits, so ones become zero, zeros become one, then we add one. And that's how we answer this question. 
So that finishes off question five. Please, please, please uh, like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. If it's been helpful, please consider uh, subscribing and hit the bell notification to get updates of when I add new videos. Add new videos every week for computer science and every week also for ICT. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.